Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back. And man, about once a month I do meatloaf. And uh, I've been getting pretty consistent with the way I make it. I've got two pounds of ground sirloin. I've got a pound of uh, Johnsonville mild Italian. Two eggs. Uh, some Worcestershire sauce. A little bit of this tiger sauce. If you're wondering, that is, it's kind of spicy, but it's kind of sweet at the same time. Uh, I've got some onions and some celery. I'm going to do a bacon weave on top. I've got a packet of uh, Ritz crackers. I like that in there. And then something different. And you saw, you saw that. Well, we're going to put some maple syrup in there. And uh, I, this is a Wisconsin-made product. It's a family-made product. It's called Big Swamico Syrup. And it's uh, from Swamico, Wisconsin, which is just south of Green Bay. They have the sweetest maple trees there folks so this is some really good stuff purely organic organic um, and like i said it's a family affair they don't make a whole lot of it it's not a, like a big company or something like that so we're going to use about a quarter cup of that in our meatloaf and um, let's get that meatloaf made stay tuned all right folks let's take a quick uh, look at the weber performer here and the setup we got going on uh, you saw i did a video tom horseman at youtube uh, and how i refurbished the uh, plastic tables uh, it turned out pretty nice uh I've got the slow and sear on there. Uh, I've got my royal oak hickory charcoal in there. I've got two wax cubes and one chunk of cherry. I got my dripping griddle. It's going to do indirect. I'm going to fill up the trough with water, get this fired up. Um, I've done another little mod to this, and you can see our daisy wheels looking nice and clean. Uh, what I do with the majority of my Weber's, well, actually all my Weber charcoal grills, if you look over here, you can see I drill out the rivet. And the reason I do that is that after you cook, if you don't cook a lot on them, it's not that big of a deal. But what will happen after a while is that the uh, the daisy wheel and everything will get all full of soot and grease on the backside there. It's impossible to get off. And sometimes it makes it hard to turn or it makes it hard to clean up. So what I do, a quarter inch drill bit. I've got a video, believe it or not, on YouTube, uh, Tom Horseman on YouTube, where you, it shows how to do that. And basically, and here, we'll just show you here on the uh, Smoky Jokes. We did this one today. All we do is, let's get over to the workbench here, get a light on here so you can see. All we do here, folks, is, uh, like I said, I take a quarter inch drill bit from the backside, I drill out, I drill that out, and then um, you can see I already cleaned the uh, the backside of it, and then um, everything else I, re I put back on is stainless steel. So I've got a quarter inch stainless steel screw, and then on the backside there, quarter inch uh, washer, quarter inch lock washer, and a quarter inch wing nut and uh, makes it easy to uh, and then you just adjust the wing nut for the tension so it works right for you works great for me uh, I'll give you an example as to you see, you're probably saying well they don't really get that dirty here's the Weber go anywhere and I just took that one off and I've only cooked on this about not even a half a dozen times and you can see all the buildup on the back side so and you can see the grease there that's forming there. And that, that's why I do it. So I'm going to clean these and I'll clean that also. Uh, it just keeps things clean. It helps uh, uh, maintain your grill and helps uh, with, the, with the control of the daisy wheel. So uh, I know I spent a long time on that. So let's, let's get this fired up, shall we? All right, folks, there's our, uh, there's our meatloaf. I put it in a, a stainless steel bowl, put it in the freezer for about 35, 40 minutes, just a little tighten up a little bit. And then plop it out a little bit on my, I got my frog mat here. That's uh, what I'm going to transfer it over to the grill with. Um, these work great as long as you don't put them on, if you put them over fire, they'll burn. They'll burn. So for indirect, are great. Got a basket weave on there. Uh, you probably are wondering, how do, how do you get a hold of this uh, big Swamico, uh, uh, Swamico syrup uh, from Swamico, Wisconsin? Uh, they have a Facebook page. I'm going to try and leave a link, but... Uh, just remember the big Swamico syrup on Facebook, and that's how you can get a hold of them. I'm going to put one more thing on top of our bacon, and that's uh, from Cindy Lou's. Some of this big coon and nice and sweet. As you can see, we've, we're really going for the sweet today with our um, with our meatloaf, having the, the syrup in there, and uh, now having the uh, big kahuna uh, on there. Uh, folks, let's get this on the Weber next time you'll see it. Be on the Weber. I'm going to take it up to about 145, 150-ish before, before I pull it and let it set. So stay tuned. All right, folks, about 45 minutes into the cook here. You can see we got some smoke rolling still. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, dome temp says we're 350. I don't think we're that warm. Let's take a quick look at I've got the top vent just barely open, about a third, not even. Bottom vent is at half. Let's take a look. Got to wait for the steam to clear and the smoke. Come on. 
All right, there you can see it looking really nice there, folks. Um, like I said, we'll take this up to about 145, 150, and we'll pull it, so uh, stay tuned. Wow, that looks nice. All right, folks, there's our meatloaf, two and a half hours. Look at that. See the smoke ring? Man, does that look nice. Taking a taste test already. I got just a little tad here. I'll take a little bit of a taste test of this. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Thumbs up. You can taste that maple syrup in there. The big swamical syrup. Remember, check them out on Facebook. Uh, it's just like that. I'll try and put the link down below. If I don't, go to Facebook and just type that in and you'll get there. I got a sandwich made up there. I'm going to eat. Folks, hope you enjoyed this. I can do it. You can do it. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Please subscribe. Leave a comment, thumbs up. And as always, I really do appreciate it. And I really mean that. Thank you.